Hi everybody, it's me, Shelly K80, and I thought I'd stop in and everything. Um, well, so we're gonna kind of cover, I guess, uh, some skincare stuff that I use, you know. Um, I think next will be makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup, just a little bit of makeup, but um, I will show you the products I use, and, and I know it's hard to find foundations or whatnot, but you know, we'll get over that. I was gonna cover a few more hair products that I don't think I covered in my last video and a couple things I found that I wanted to show um, and then I thought I'd just cover like some jewelry trends because I'm getting into that whole bangle thing because you know I am a child of the 80s um, and so <laughs> what today's uh, video is going to be brought to you by Nexium, okay because Shelly has heartburn and acid reflux disease so uh, I'm officially old everybody I'm on medication so anyway I wanted to show from um, I was going to cover a couple of CDs and magazines, and I bought some new stuff. I went on a shopping trip, okay? <laughs> and so, anyways, this is, like, pretty much, like, the top seller there. And it's, like, 68 bottles for this big bottle. But, I mean, it does last forever. Me and my boyfriend share it because he's kind of got really bad brittle because he kind of dyes his hair, too, a little bit. And uh, they make the small tube, the little small tube, you know? I don't really have one that's that size, but that's like 26 bucks, okay? But if you got it, this is so worth it. It's, and you won't use a lot. And really, you only have to use it like once a week. And it's good for like white people hair, black people hair, uh, Hispanic, Latino. It don't matter. Like, it, it's just for dry hair. I mean, so definitely it helps with brittleness and all that, especially if you use flat irons, okay? And so, um, also, also, the Aveda also makes sap moss yeah you heard it right sap moss it actually smells pretty good but it's pre shampooing healing treatment for dry hair so what you do is you put it in and you just kind of work it over a little bit and uh, as much as you want pretty much so just apply as much as you want and then uh, you wait one two minutes and then you shampoo and condition as naturally go on from there and use it once every five days so this is like oh my god awesome even my boyfriend used it once and you could just tell like this dramatic difference in his hair um, and so people who are looking for, and this is good for men or women, but good with people who have shorter hair. Uh, it's, it's Paul Mitchell, you know, neon green tube. It's in the green, neon green color. So if you are asking someone at Paul Mitchell, just be like, you know, I know it's in a neon green and white bottle. Uh, it's called Super Skinny Relaxing Balm. Smooths and controls, uh, you know, frizz and all that. You know, relaxed, wavy, curly, kinky hair. You know, it's a balm. You know, it's not a serum. So it's a balm. This is really good. Um, and people have been, you know, a lot, ask me a lot, you know, like, is there a product good? Should I use Nair? Well, no, Nair stinks, okay? If you've ever smelled Nair, like, that smell never escapes you. I first time I used Nair, I was like 14, and like, oh my god, I still, every, sometimes I'll smell this weird burning smell, and I'm like, is that Nair? I mean, leave me a comment if you feel me, like, woot woot if you feel me on that, right? So I use V. I got this new V, you know, it's supposed to be this new formula. It's in French to Nouvelle Formule avec tout froid plus dehydratase. Is that good? I can speak Spanish way better than that. But anyway, this is awesome. It came with a stupid little razor thing, but as you know, just use a warm washcloth. It's pretty good, you know. Um, I like it, you know. So if you're not wanting to shave and stuff, Veet I think is like pretty much the best, okay? As the best cream debilitator there is, okay? Debilitator? I hope I said that right. Depilatore. <laughs> you know, leave it on for three to six minutes and, and it comes off with a warm washcloth wash, wash and the more you use it, the less stubble and the less the hair comes back softer and smoother and it comes back less likely. So it is way better than shaving, but you know, you just do it kind of when I, sometimes I do it while I'm chilling and watching YouTube or something. But Mondays are my days to do my beauty treatments, okay? Um, so, and I use me my flat iron today, I use my cheese. So make sure you guys use your thermal spray. Um, I think that goes for like the hair care stuff I wanted to cover. So on the skin care, um, I've been using this. I saw this in InStyle magazine. Uh, it's called uh, it's Garnier uh, Nutritionist. You know, daily skin renew, daily anti fatigue eye cream. Um, they had a pump bottle for like $14. It's really not that much. This was like $8 or something. And I thought I'd just go with the skinny tube. But I mean, it was going off the shelf. Even the lady was like, I can't keep it in stock. 
and it reduces fine lines and I I mean I do tan and stuff but I'm not a stressful person so I really and I don't wear much makeup so I don't think I have a fine line problem but um, I wanted to brighten the area because it's always dark under there and you know that'll be my makeup tips when I can teach you how to like cover up redness and, and bruises and blah 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 and stuff like that. You gotta cover my black eye. Okay. Um, you know, so uh, that's why I used it like for two days now. I guess you, I guess maybe just use it twice a day. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. But I, I use it at least once a day. I'm sure. You know, and I mean it's it's great like I'm already like I mean it's nice and smooth but I don't really have any wrinkles there so I can't really judge it on that aspect but I'm hoping it will lighten my under eyes because anything with like lycopene you know keratin stuff like that I mean you know that that stuff is really like what you're wanting you know and eat your bananas and, and star fruit and all that for vegetables you know you do you guys did know that I am kind of like borderline vegan right I don't eat a lot of red meat so, um, let's keep going. All right. So, uh, for you ladies or guys, you know, this is kind of a weird thing, but I noticed that over the years, like, I kept trying different types of deodorants, and, like, yeah, they're deodorants. They're, like, there's no stink or nothing, but, like, I just get wet constantly, and it's driving me to insane. And, like, I'm allergic to cornstarch, so I can't use any kind of starches, and I don't like roll-ons, so that's not cracking. So, like, um... You know, and I don't like the gels, you know, I just like clear roll-ons or whatever, or white visibles. So, like, um, I actually went on Yahoo Answers, and you can find me there at Yahoo Answers. I'll leave links to all that later. And, uh, you know, I found this, decided, like, someone told me either get Sanix, but I couldn't find it. Um, but I got this dry idea clinical. Clinical, <laughs> clinical, <laughs> and then I just got unscented because I don't really want to smell. I just don't want to sweat. Okay, so like, let's see. I'm gonna test this product. Okay, D, you know, uh, I don't know. I hope it works. Okay, and oh yeah, I forgot to mention this was kind of what I use. If you're wanting to just bleach your hair and not go to the salon and spend all the money, I just get Jerome Russell. You get it's blonde for men, but you can get blonde for women. But it doesn't matter. You get the same amount in each one, and I find that the men's is cheaper. Um, it's a bleaching kit, swan quality, it's a 40 volume, so this is what is really to get the white white in your hair. I do that, I just go get a little mocha dip and sometimes a little dark underneath and everything. Can't wait for the summer so I can do hot pink, right? Okay, so I'm going to try to use that on my boyfriend next. I told him, I was like, baby, let me do that. Stop frosting your hair. You look just like brassy, okay? Told you about that matrix, so silver, okay? Um... Now, here's the moisturizer I use, okay? Now, when I was in Denver, I used, I had really bad dry skin, okay? Patchy is horrible. I look so ashy, okay, that I got Pond's uh, Dry Skin Cream, and it's extra rich. And, I mean, this little bottle has lasted me a long time, and it's still, in, it's good. It's great. Um, so, next time, I'll probably just get, like, regular, you know, because it's not as, hell, it's so humid down here, you know? I mean... But uh, Pons, I think, is the best just facial moisturizer. It's light, it's great, and expensive, and it lasts you a long time. So, um, let's go on to, like, some fashion, okay? Um, I got these. I thought, I don't know, like, I felt like, because I like Michelle Obama, and she looks so classy when she dresses. I mean, she looks like the working woman. She doesn't look like, you know, these, like, you know, I mean, when I look at her, I think of uh, uh, President Kennedy's wife, uh, uh, Jacqueline Onassis, you know, I mean, Jackie Onassis, I mean, that, it's just so glamorous, you know, so I kind of got these pearly things, I got it, uh, I got the, these bangles all, I got them at, uh, Forever 21, so if you like to shop there, woot woot for me, leave a comment, um, I got these really cool ones, too, they're kind of like these PC bangles, they're like black and gold, so I thought that would work, I gotta wear black at work, but, um, I like that gold sparkly stuff, you know. Um, I wish I, I kind of wish I'd gotten this color in yellow too, but you know, I got pink. I love these. I'm like pimping that pink, baby, you know. So, but they had yellow and green in all colors, and I, little, I wanted the yellow, but they were out, and I like this one. I got this in Houston somewhere. I can't remember, but it is like bling bling, baby. I mean, that hoe sparkles. I'm like, holla, you know, because I can't get that Rolex yet, okay? So, um, let me pause it for a second because I want to, you know, discuss some other stuff. <laughs>